Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? So, I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. It's going to be impromptu, so let's just get into this revelation, okay? Holy Spirit, lead me to where I need to be, for I know it's to you that all things are possible, and it's in your mighty and glorious name that I pray. Amen. Okay. Let's see. Revelation 9, the fifth trumpet. The fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. It was given the key for the passage to the abyss. It opened the passage to the abyss, and smoke came out of the passage like the smoke from a huge furnace. The sun and the air were darkened by the smoke from the passage. Locusts came out of the smoke into the land, and they were given the same power as scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass or the earth or any plant or any tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them but only torment them for five months the torment they inflicted was like that of the scorpion when it stings a person during that time these people will seek death but will not find it and they will long to die but death will escape them the appearance of the locust was like that of horses ready for battle. On their heads, they wore, they wore what looked like crowns of gold. Their faces were like humans, and they had hair like humans, like women's hair. Their teeth were like lion's teeth, and they had chests like iron breastplates. They, the sound of their wings were like the sound of many horse-drawn chariots racing into battle they had tails like scorpions with stingers with their tails they had power to harm people for five months they had as their king the angel of the abyss whose name in hebrew is abanon and greek apollyon the first woe was passed but there was more there was two more to come. So the revelation that the Father has given me through this scripture is there is someone that or some people that the father has given the power or been given the power to cause torment to people in their life. These are demons that have been released. onto these people. And the Father released these demons to torment these people for months. It says it was given the key for the passage to the abyss and it opened the passage of the abyss and smoke came out of the passage like smoke from a huge furnace. The sun and the air were darkened by the smoke from the passage. Locusts came out of the smoke onto the, onto the land, and they were given the power of scorpions of the earth, and they were told not to harm anything that was of God, anything that was good, anything that, not even the grass, they couldn't touch anything that was growing. 
these demons are not allowed to touch anything that are that is growing anything that has the seal of god in their foreheads any plant or any tree the they anything that belongs to the father these demons are not allowed to touch they are only allowed to torment and afflict the people who the father has assigned for them to afflict and torment these demons these locusts these demons are going to afflict these people so badly that they are going to want to die but the father is not going to allow them to meet their demise These um, demons or locusts, they could look, have the appearance of women. But they have, I don't know if they're demons. Because they they wore what looked like gold crowns. They, no, on their heads they wore what looked like gold crowns. Their faces were like humans. So... Although they're wearing what look like gold crowns, these are not these are these are just demons that have been chosen to do something for the father. These are not it, it says they they look they wore what looked like gold, gold they looked like crowns of gold. So they're not actually crowns of gold. These are just demons who have been chosen to go out the baddest demons have been chosen to go out and afflict pain and torment to people they had as their king the angel of the abyss yeah so these are demons Okay, they had as their king the angel of abyss, whose name was Apollyon. So these are demons, and they have their their father is Apollyon. Their father is Satan. But they are the baddest demons, and they were chosen by the father to go out and inflict pain and torment on these people. And this and this is when the fifth the fifth trumpet is blown. The father has chosen the baddest demons to go out and cause harm, torment, and inflict pain. Some type of inflicting pain of some kind. But they are not allowed to kill these people. These demons are not allowed to kill these people. But they are to um, cause torment and inflict pain to the point where these people want to die. But the father is not going to allow for it to take place. And that's the message. There are going there are about to be some people who are about to experience torment and pain for five months. You will want to you will want to just die. You will long to die. You will want the Lord to just take you out of here. But he is not going to give. He is not going to even uh, give you that grace. The Lord said that would be grace. Him just allowing to 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 for you to be, meet your demise. The Lord says you're gonna have to live through it. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to live through that. Thus says the Lord. Whatever it is you're going through, He's not going to allow you to just meet your death and then that's the end. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? That's the, the scripture that the Father just uh, put in, in my path. Where was thou when I first laid the foundations of the earth? Okay, the Father is saying, where were you when I was laying things down, when I was getting things together? What were you doing when I was creating this foundation? What were you doing? When I was trying to convince you to get things right, what were you doing? The father is saying now is the time where a lot of people are going to realize that their time is up. That the foundation has been laid.
that's the message there's an angel coming from heaven and he has the key to the abyss and he is about to open it up and he is about to unleash these demons on these certain people and um these are the demons that the father chose to unleash on these people and the time has come for these people to be tormented and inflicted with pain like they tried or they did to some of you and for some of you they wanted you to meet your demise they wanted you to take yourself out of here the father says this is what they're going to want for themselves and just like you like it didn't take you out they're not going to be able to get that whatever they're going to have to live through it they're going to have to go through it for them to meet their demise would be some, uh, would be grace it would be mercy and the father says he's he they're going to have to live through what it whatever whatever it is that they created whatever it is that they laid down whatever seeds they sowed the father says it's harvest time it's harvest time it's time to eat those things in which you sowed. Those seeds you planted, now they have grown. They have grown up out of the grass, and now that is the only thing for you to eat. It is the only thing for you to devour, the seeds that you have sown. And the seeds that you have sown are little demonic seeds, and now they have come back to collect. And that's the message. Peace.